way to start off a YouTube video. I'm enjoying out here. Just bought these tires for the LTZs I bought the other day. Uh, and we're putting them in a Civic to take home. We got one in the trunk, two in the back seat. Uh, and then we got one on the roof we're about to strap down. Look at that. Don't say you can't get anything home. You gotta, you gotta make it happen. We about to ratchet strap it to the roof. Probably gonna cave it in, but if you guys are excited for this video, uh, we are going to Carson's house tomorrow to check out his crazy OBS truck on a 10 to 12 Cognito. It's insane. It's massive. So if you do, if you guys want to see that, make sure you stick around to the end of the video, and uh, we're gonna go over that truck with him. Okay, we finna get these tires up. Got it strapped up. This is gonna be a fun ride home. It's gonna be cold. We got two in the, in the back seat, one on the roof and one in the trunk. Never been done before. But uh, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to hit uh, the subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 1500 now that we hit 1K. Hit that like button, it really sends that, uh, the videos out there to people. Go subscribe to Jordan's new channel. He just posted his first video a couple days ago. Go give him some love. say it's about the dumbest thing I've ever done I literally I'm gonna be driving like this and this is gonna be on my shoulder the whole time and I might have to check that the whole time on the interstate how that makes sense but we're gonna do it we're gonna get it done make sure y'all watch the end of this video we're gonna check out Carson's truck and it's gonna be the craziest stuff you've ever seen so uh, stick around for that we're running a little bit late we're supposed to get up in the morning early enough to go do that and then be at Carson's house at around 12 but uh we are about two minutes out and uh we're gonna pull up and see what it looks like first initial reactions and uh I guess we'll go over the truck okay we're about to pull up holy crap this is that's crazier than I thought it was that thing is huge oh my god what Oh my god. Guys, here it is. This is a uh, what year is it? 1998, 98, just like mine. And uh, I'm gonna let him talk a little bit about it. But uh, it's as you can see, the most valuable point is the 10 to 12 Cognito. It is absolutely massive. I mean, you like eye level. This thing is it's it's taller than me, basically. I mean, it's insanely tall. Uh, I'm gonna let him go over all the details about the lift and whatever he's got done to it, the powder, everything like that. Go ahead, take over. So it's a, a 10 to 12 Cognito, it discontinued in like the early 2000s. Uh, it, it's a true 12 inch, so measured 12 inch from bolt hole to bolt hole. It has the FTS because obviously Cognito don't make no shock for this truck, but it has 12 inch uh, FTS lift shocks with the chrome billet clamp, RCL for stripping out tie rods, um, and the powder is uh, lollipop red with flake in it, and the chrome cross member was done by Speed and Sport chrome plate in uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. And it has a 99 to 06, like the Cat Eye and Tahoe uh, four inch spindles on it as well. Oh, you do have four inch spindles? Yeah. Kilby's got some that he wants me to buy, but I'm not too sure how taking out the four wheel drive I'm, I'm wanting to do. But I mean, if it sits big, I might have to do it eventually. But did you get this powder too? Like yeah, whole, just everything repowdered? Yeah, the whole everything got done. You know, one thing that I've never seen on these trucks personally is this engraved emblem. Yeah, it's, uh, I think you pronounce it artesian engraving. They're from, yeah. I think they're also from Texas, if I'm not mistaken. But I bought it at Scraping like two years ago for it. So yeah. Other than that, it's the LMC grill, LMC billet, LMC bumper, valence, bumper filler, all this stuff's new. I had yeah. to buy it whenever I got the truck painted. That's another thing. It has a, it's a Lexus paint coat. It's, you can oh, yeah? uh, put a light on it. But it's, uh has pearl in it, if you can see it. Oh, yeah, I do. That's nice. But, so, did you have everything repainted when you repainted the bed? 
everything out. Like, I, they have brand new fenders on it, which I mean, you can't tell. Brand yeah. new mirrors. They have uh, puddle lights in the bottom. And they oh, also yeah. have a, a sequential turn signal built in behind it. You can oh, yeah. see yeah. it. Yeah, I've seen that. And then you said you got these, uh, yeah. cu you custom made these? Yeah, I, I build them on the side just for a little side money. I got you. And you said you got a uh, custom bed liner? Yeah, it's all done. red bed liner. Also have this uh, hitch receiver. This like goes behind the tag, behind the roll pan. The hideaway. You got the... Uh, shade roll pan, shade yeah. roll gauge. Clear tail lights and third brake light. I need to get that third bike light to match mine, but I, I didn't order the bulbs when I got my uh, yeah, clear tail lights. Yeah, I ordered like the, the clear red bulbs. Mm -hmm. It looks like a red tin. It looks clear and they mm -hmm. look And what are these? My favorite tire? Bad X. 35 Bad X Extremes on 16. I need a set of 37 so bad. Everybody I can't find nobody to sell them. They ride good, but they never give me no problem. Yeah. I just can't find anybody that would sell 37s to me. You said you ain't got the interior in right now, do you? Yeah. Sound dead and the whole entire floor been sanded. Uh, you have to jerk mine. Back. It has a 550 star uh, star line in it as well. Red suede headliner. Damn. It's got to just put this. It's all brand new black carpet in it as well. But yeah, all the interior. The paint guy was supposed to be here today, but it's all the he's coming back or he's bringing all my interior back. It's all been painted a matte red with a matte clear on it. Just kind of match with the headliner and everything else. I got you. I see that, uh, the, the, you get those from LG Billet? No, the knobs? that's a different brand, actually. Them are, uh, I think they're called Billet Fantasies. But they make, uh, they make a bunch of Billet parts for older trucks. I have to check that one out. I haven't heard of that one. That's gonna look nice when the interior gets in it. Yeah, I'm ready. It's also got a red seat. We can go look at them later, but it has yeah, yeah. red stitch seats, red console. I have door panels built for it. It's also red. That's gonna be, uh, very bright red interior. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna match everything else though, so yeah, it's cool. Yeah, uh you said you're putting four inch blocks on the back though, so everybody everybody that wants to get mad about how much squat's going on right here, he is putting blocks on the back. It's just not gonna be nose diving like all them grandpas want it to be out there. So yeah, So you can still stay mad a little bit, but I was gonna do four inch blocks. I have a whole uh I have a guy from Russellville out there that's doing a four link bag here for the rear. Oh that's gonna be nice too. Triple bellows, semi airbag. I ain't drove it in like almost a year, so I was gonna do the four inch block. And I got you. For a little bit. So I put it on the map again for another three months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Are you going, uh, are you going to stick with stock hood or are you going to do a cow? You might not be able to see if you get a cow, you know? Yeah, I, I, I knew I was, because even whenever I get the bags, like, I'm still going to ride around with a pretty squad, and I didn't know how much that was going to be. Yeah. Like, I fake my visibility with a, a cow hood, so I just left my stock. Yeah. We also got Carter's over here in the back, his Ford Ranger. I'm planning on shooting a video with him after we end this video off. So, uh, it's probably not going to be uploaded next week, uh, but the next week after that, probably going to get that one out. Uh, we're going to film a whole review on it and rollers today. And uh, his brother's supposed to be pulling up with a uh, cat eye, I believe, with his old Archon wheels and a, a 79 of my guys. So uh, we'll get some clips of that while he's here too. Uh, but uh, anything else you want to put on it or oh, yes. any other plans? Definitely, hopefully before this upcoming scraping, 2024 scraping, I'm wanting 26 by 16 KG ones on yeah. 37 Furies, the 14 feet is because everybody says the 35 feet, and I just don't like that setup enough to so yeah. make ass time. <laughs> I understand that. I, I have heard that the 35 is a leak. But. And I didn't mention these. A lot of people, I, ain't, I don't think I've seen nobody with these yet, but uh, they're made by RZ Lighten. They're, uh, instead of like the OBS one, just the bottom one always lights up. This has an LED board on top and bottom. And you know, I was just talking about that the other day, that I wanted to get that done. Yeah. You'll have to send me a link on those. Cause yeah. I like them a lot. Though. You got a 4 high mod too? Or? Yeah, yeah. I need Yeah, I need that done too, so like everything's lit up, you know? Yeah, that, that, that'll look nice, though. I need to get that done. I need to put my billets back in my old grill and put my old grill back in. Because I got yeah. that ugly mesh one. Oh, yeah. But it looked better like than my old one. I like it on a dark hunter green. But, yeah, I definitely like it on yours. Only a darker color, I think it, it goes well with. All right, let's go check out that bed, man. I got to see this. I don't know if any of y'all know about this bed, but if you followed Carson for a long time, you do know that it's got this gigantic cut in it from when he used to rub. This thing, I'll try and insert an image. I'll have to send me one later, but it used to be... It used to be on the tire, literally. Yeah. 
probably before anybody else was doing on the tire. He did it first. I, never, I originally got them all crown Lincolns. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I never told anybody this, but whenever I was putting them on, whenever I bought them, we had to jack the truck up. Then we had to take another jack and jack the bed up. We <laughs> get the tire on them. Yeah. Jack it down, the bed was just like laying It just sat on it. Yeah. And you said you had to buy this whole truck to get that old lift? Yeah, I have. I've had two cognito lifts. I sold my very, my original one that I had to buy this entire truck just to get because the guy wouldn't come off just the lift. So I bought this whole truck just to get the lift, and then uh, I ended up selling it and buying that one for cheaper. And that one's two inches bigger than the one I originally had. So I and it came with dual shock boots too. They're sitting over there, but uh, yeah, I had to buy this. With this whole truck was just strictly just to get that one lift. I got you. Yeah, I see it still got that yeah. massive oh, lift in the rear. Very Oh my god. Gigantic drop brackets. Yeah, <laughs> Holy crap. You ain't gotta worry about that though, because you ain't gonna go that high in the back. <laughs> Can't do that. God, that thing is awful. So bad. Mm. Worst five left for a Did you do them or somebody yeah, else? Yeah. <laughs> right here's the, the rear lift of the lift I have now on the dual shot coops. Those are massive. Yeah. Holy crap. But you, you, gonna gotta, get... you gotta run these, which is obviously a bolt in. And I, I don't even know if they'll fit the new Kryptonite yeah. control arms that they just came out with for OBS's. I know they fit the stock one, I just didn't want to run a stock over control arms. Are you, gonna, use them. are you gonna get all that repowder the same color? Yeah, if, I, if I put on? them on, if, if them if them brackets for, that mount the bottom of the shock that bolts to the control arm, or if it'll fit a Kryptonite upper control arm, I'm gonna get these patterned by Kryptonite upper control arms. And, I got uh, you. Run the, run the shock boots, but I, I don't know if those gonna fit or not. They are massive though. Yeah, they are pretty big. I've never seen them that big in, in person. It looks worse in the front than the thing though. This is massive. Still, the new new. Guy from, uh, I don't, I'm gonna I'm butcher his name, but his name, I think his name is John Chubar. He's from uh, Chubar. Russia. <laughs> Dang, you got it from Russia? <laughs> Dang. He built them for four tens, two splitters, and uh, two two inch corn drivers. They obviously had to. Step these horns off mm -hmm. a pretty large amount because yeah. the horns are real deep. So that's why they hang over so bad because the mountain depth horn is very deep. I might have to get with Igor and get me some. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need some. How much did he how much did he run you for these? Uh these and our pair of doors and that console, a guy from Indiana, he built the console, but uh, both of them ran like two K for the doors and then the console was also two K. Dang. It's money. That's money, money. I mean, you can tell he's got money, though. Look at this thing. Y'all say these squatted trucks are poverty, but that, that lift probably costs whatever. Nissan Altima or Tacoma, you driving. I, I don't want to hear it. Dang. That's going to be clean, though. You got red seats. I, I, like I said, I, built, I tried to build some doors before, and they look terrible. I'm just so white. Look at Yeah, good. yeah. It's like, if you're a mess of poverty, that's where you can... It's, it's, oh, yeah. he, he, it ain't, he also built it like crazy thick too. Like they're so durable. Like it's it amazing me how good of a job he did. Mm. You can have an armrest when you yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can just <laughs> you could take a nap on them. Probably blow your ears out, but <laughs> So what kind of amps you plan on running to all your audio? Uh, I've I don't i am just I've can't I ain't made my mind up yet. I wanna put the back seat back in the truck. Yeah. Me too, me too. Yeah. I need to take my I'm subs out. I don't know. If I don't put the back seat, the only reason I don't want to put a back seat in, or the only reason I want to put the back seat in is if I don't, I'm gonna have a lot of desk space. And I don't want mm -hmm. to fill that desk space would be to like build a big sub box with big subs, and that's gonna yeah. be really expensive because I don't like mm -hmm. having cheap audio. Yeah, yeah. So, but then on top of that, I'm I'm getting a stunt wall in the door, so that's already gonna be hell amps in the back seat. So, but then the only bad thing I don't know about with the seat is if I can fit those amps anywhere in the back without them overheating because you ain't got a lot of room behind the OBS seat in between like the back of the seat and the cab. So. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure something out, but uh, it's a it's gonna be a process. I couldn't imagine. You remember when we went scraping and you played the wall like all day? I had to sit oh, in the yeah. back <laughs> and the amp. You bump against it, burning your arm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. really hot Especially that's why I don't seat. want to put it behind the seat because it won't have any ventilation at all. So. It might have been while well, mine cooked it, so. <laughs> Been talking about this earlier, it's like obviously bad news, we ain't been doing it, but it has a Cadillac 120 cluster in it with all white LEDs behind it. That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can do it from the side. 
RIP your ass if it ever breaks down. Yeah, the engine bay is yeah. dirty, guys, but uh, <laughs> it's got dual excess power 3400D, which are shot right now, so that's going to be a pain in the ass to have to buy again. But, uh, I think it's like 400 a piece, but it's all sky high, Oxygen okay. free, <laughs> copper, zero gauge wire. It's got a 370 uh, Mechman oscillator on it. I see that. I feel like I'm about to fall off the <laughs> out of the bro. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be aggravating trying to get them new batteries in there. I don't know oh, how yeah. to put them in. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna just. Crane or something. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna put a crane up there. <laughs> oh, it also has a nine, it ain't hooked up yet. That's another thing you gotta do. It's a 99 to 06 master cylinder. It's supposed to make the brakes a lot, a lot more touchy. Oh, yeah. So, uh, gotta get all that put up, the brake fluid in it, get them all bled. Small. How high the hood is with it pop. God. This thumbnail's gonna go crazy, dude. <laughs> This just looks absolutely insane. I don't I don't think I don't think anybody's ever gonna get over like just how massive this thing is. It, 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 does, it does start to look more normal as yeah, you look does. at it. I'm about to say yeah. like He's whenever still I put like this lift on whenever I put the lift on like two or three days later, it's like I mean it's obviously not ever gonna be like completely normal, but it's mm -hmm. gonna get pretty normal to me. Still got a long ways to go though. You got the hard part done. Yeah. You'll have the attention for when it is finished, yeah. you know. People will be like, oh, you remember that dude with that big ass truck? <laughs> Special educated guy with a cocky Who gave him money to do that? <laughs> so we got your custom center console and seats. Yeah, this is uh, just some of the pieces of this here that I have on hand. This was uh, built by Jeremy Reed out of Indiana. It has acrylic right here with red leds under it there's acrylic on the inside of this right here it's all dirty thing <laughs> but uh it also had red, red leds right here there's an acrylic piece up under here that had leds that skewed all these wiring so that's where all the was found are you gonna like label these so you know what it is you just gonna try and memorize I was, it i was thinking about memorizing this is uh i was gonna do all the lighting right here and all the audio down here with the voltmeter on the audio battery in the back mm -hmm. but uh it also has like a on the inside of the console it's all black carpeted down there. Right here is a, uh, there's a USB that goes to my Apple CarPlay from my radio. Oh, shit. All the wire just runs under it to where you don't have any exposed wire for the Apple CarPlay. It's built nice. Yeah, you did a good job. It's uh, red leather and red suede. Accents, it's really dirty. I apologize. And then uh, you bought the seats like this or did you yeah, have them so made? There was a guy close to me that had these seats done by some old lady, like completely reupholstered with a diamond stitch bottom and back. And I traded him my stock seats and $300 for these. And I was already like wanting to go with red interior. I'm thinking about getting them redone though, because as you can tell, this is like a, a mattish red along yeah. with that. That one's kind of been obviously handled more. This one will after it gets handled more. But these mm -hmm. are like more of a, a glossier red. It's a yeah. little match as well. So it's a little bright. Redone. And if I do the back seat, it's still the neighborhood like the factory, so I might, mm -hmm. get, I might get them done at the same time, just get them all redone to where the master comes on. Yeah. You know how the OBS seats are, they mm -hmm. have an armrest built yeah. in, the person, the woman that did this filled that in, took the armrest off. That look good. But yeah, that's just some of the pieces, and like I said, the whole dash, the door panels in the back, uh, the cluster, the swell box, all the other head console, all that's been painted by the guy that painted the truck. It's going to be like a matte red with a mm -hmm. matte over to where it'll, you know, contrast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so I didn't want to do it glossy and then it like, stick out like a four cone. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're going to wait for his brother to get here. We're going to go shoot rollers uh, for his video before we do that. But uh, after we get back, it should be around the time that his brother's getting here. And we'll check out his truck for a little bit. And then uh, we'll catch y'all then. I had to be redone eventually. I, I don't mess with my seat, but I don't even wear shit up, so it was like. Oh. 
Oh, God, I'm <laughs> yeah, man, I'm glad I ain't got a buffet now. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew I was going to, I was like, yeah, it's going to be aggravating. I'm going to just lift on in here, too. That was terrible. We're talking about the bailiffs with being lifted. I don't know if I'm going to take it off yet or leave it on or what. I like it. I do, too. It's growing on You don't like it? Uh, I'm not a balance dude, so but. I'm just used to seeing this truck without it. I'm going to take it off see what it looks like, but. I just think, especially with how big it is, like a, the top of the tire is already like a foot below the cab. So from the yeah. front, it looks kind of <laughs> more from, I don't know, the balance kind of hangs down a little. I mean, it's still below the balance, but. Uh, I've gotten used to it, but I still like it. I, I'm, I mean, it's just so many folds and all bad things. It's like, I don't know, it's probably like 25, 30 volts hold this thing on. Yeah, I ain't gonna see one down there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna go change and talk about the truck. Oh, I like the clears. <laughs> Just talk about it. What you got? Lift, wheel, exhaust. Uh, lift is a seven-inch Magoy's with a three-inch body on it, and the exhaust. It's, I think it's factory, like pipe all the way back to Axodont, ten or eight inch tips, and recently I got the cats cut out of it. I got you. These 26 by 14 Archons on. Yeah, 35 haters. I got you. It's clear tail lights. Haters. <laughs> That's them hater ties. He said there's like three different ways to say them. That's them hater ties. Mm. I want to get the exhaust. What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. She said, do they spin? To show on the interior, a little stock something, a little something. There ain't nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's leather. It's in good shape. You need to talk about the tag. Lean. Carson got leaning one. He got leaning two. Oh, for oh, real? One second. One second. Oh, I'm gonna do this shit. Move all this shit. You, you, can't, you can't, can't, can't put this. Can't put this. Hell yeah. It's gonna be it. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> change he got it. He, got it he, wa he walked with like this. That whole five pounds. Look, it's gonna bear in a hole. I think it's this clean, for real. It's pretty good. Brazilian factory interior. Yeah. It's clean. Yes, uh, strobe flashing. Watch it go. Dang. <laughs> Do it again, Sai. <laughs> it's like eyeballs. Hand in the back of it. <laughs> yeah. That shit is loud. I thought that was in humming. No, that was great. <laughs> it was a bulb. Hands in the back of the bulb. Um, oh. Dang. <laughs> 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 Dang. Look at that. 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 My, my last fit like a low beams and high beams do that but it's like mm, yeah. his was like singing a song <laughs> yeah. the blinkers are insane too honestly oh my gosh ain't that is bright Carson's like don't buy off beam uh, brake lights had to everything <laughs> else on the beam got a bomb off beam headlights is definitely way to go I wouldn't have spent that much money on this red tail light too it was $96 for that. Huh. The blinkers, the bulbs for the brake lights, and I bought some interior bulbs. They didn't even work how I wanted them to. How, how willing are you to start it up and give us a little tap? <laughs> how, how willing are you to do that? <laughs> if you blow it up, man, I, I'll, put you, I'll put you in the title. Both of them cut out. So, so, I've got them cut off completely. I didn't get them. 
Oh, you got them just replaced the bike? It's going to be the end of this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure y'all hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We uh, are close to 1500 and we're going to try to hit that for the end of 2024. Uh, next Monday, we are going to be uploading a video. I'm going to Tupelo, Mississippi for a little meet up there. So uh, make sure you're watching out for that one. And then the next Monday, we got Carter's video coming out. Uh, where can they find you, Carson? Uh, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, all of us. Just Carson. Dollar, so. All right, I got you. All right, if you guys did like this video, make sure you do all the stuff I just said. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.